Hello everybody, this is Coding Made Easy and I'm coming to you with another C++ Made Easy tutorial. Um, sorry I haven't made a video tutorial on these lately. It's just that more, it seems that more people prefer my Lego videos more so I focus more on that. If you really want me to make more of these video series or like more frequently, comment on my videos, rate, and subscribe and tell me you want to make more because the more you tell me the more motivated I am I'm more motivated to make a Lego videos because people really like those so I do it for you guys if you guys aren't watching then I won't really feel like making it so anyways <coughs> um we're gonna be learning about functions um the second lesson on functions so let me zoom in here and just let me do all my include statements. Kind of delete everything from last tutorial. Um, I O using namespace std. Okay, so last tutorial we did our <coughs> function addition without um, any parameters and parameters meaning the stuff that goes within the brackets so when we, what we did is that we um, just randomly chose two numbers in here and then they added them together <clears throat> in this one we're gonna let we're gonna let you input them later or we can make the user input which numbers they want to add right so um, when we're creating parameters, just to put the variable type and then the variable name. So, and if I want numbers, right? So I'll name it x. I'll name the next one y because I want to add two numbers. Now, these variable names really don't matter right now, right? They really don't matter. But I, I'm just gonna tell you what these variable names do. Say I didn't have that semicolon there. <coughs> And I had the opening and closing brace now declaring it in there. Whatever value you put for x is determined by x in the function. So basically anything you have to do with x in this function has to deal with this x up here. And anything you have to do with y has to do with this y up here. Now say you wanted to use this x and y outside of the <coughs> addition statement. You couldn't because the local variable and local means that it only works within that function you see that I get a red line I get an error it means that I it's not declared right it, it means that once this function is done it doesn't exist anymore x and y don't exist anymore so anyways back to the lesson so <coughs> uh, once I made this in addition now we want to declare it after main so int addition and this is a thing, this is a special thing about it. Once you're redeclaring it to put the parameters in, you don't have to put in the same variable names up here. So I don't have to put int x and int y. I can put int num1 and I can put int num2. I can change the variable name, but the variable type has to stay the same. Right? <clears throat> because it has to be able to like recognize the function and stuff right so in this case I'm gonna put int result equal to num1 plus num2 now can, you might be able to see where I'm going with this and if you still don't understand still don't know where I'm going with this just watch <clears throat> so I'm returning result and last tutorial I was just returning answer so when I go pair and I'm doing my cout statement, right? So I put addition, and notice these things come up, right? So it's my parameters, so what I need to put in there. So I'm gonna put 10 and 20, <coughs> and I'm gonna put endo. This 10 represents num1, and this 20 represents num2. So then when I run this program, it'll be like num1, which is 10, 
plus num2 which is 20 equals result and return results so therefore the answer will be 30 <coughs> so let's run this <coughs> see you get 30 <coughs> sorry I'm a bit sick so that's the a bit of basics with parameters